And obviously, uh, Brian, for DC United, the tournament not starting at the best time. There's an injury crisis, but so many teams go through this, whether it's the UEFA Champions League, whether it's this newly created tournament, wherever in the world is, the good teams overcome these kind of things. Navas starts it off from the Saprisa goal. This is Centeno. Thought about getting it to Borges instead. Goes straight up for Arieta. And a great opening chance. The ball gets back out to Alpizar. At that left back spot, made it his own. And now with injuries and forms, he's starting to slide more into that central defense or central back spot. Wildly askew effort. And Saprisa again get another look. That from Michael Barantes. Martinez, that's got some space here for Quaranta. He'll call his own number. That one gets through to Sims. Sims, the Iron Man for DC United this season. Not a bad cross. It'll give Thompson a chance. It's cleared off the line. Emilio for his second look. But yeah, the question is, can Marcelo Gallardo come back and be a part of this DC United team that right now is in good position for the playoffs? Not a bad look there on two occasions from DC. Looked like Namoff lifted in that second effort. MLS recruiting high and low, big school, small school, to find talent. Jervis Drummond. That's a good ball, but no one in a purple shirt on that far post. It's flicked back out. Centeno gives it a look. See how quickly the shot's pulled from the top of the 18. Short corner. All the way through the back of the 18, and Zach Wells with a massive save. I believe it might have been Centeno who they're trying to hide out away from the 18-yard box. Said the road will consume this team in the weeks ahead. Borges. Name off positioned well, but it is Alpizar who wins it. The ball back into Alpizar. He gets caught in the spokes. Finally blocked by McTavish. Centeno, yes! 32nd minute. Saprisa get the all-important goal. You get the feeling that one goal could be enough in this game. We'll find out in the hour ahead. Good defending from Metavish, but Alpazar on the ground, kicks it, knocks it over to Centeno. And Centeno, that's not laces, that's just the placement. You see the hands go up for a dangerous play. Centeno just gets his hips open, pushing it past Zach Wells. Saprisa up, 1-0. Had the movement going to the right. And had a lot of empty space between him and the far post. Looks like another booking here. And is it red? It's a red card. Quaranta gets a yellow. And everything's come undone here. Alexander Robinson from that Saprisa Academy, just 19. Good-looking young defender. Left-footed shot. Saprisa double their advantage. It is Jairo Arieta. Delight for the traveling supporters. And Arieta fresh off two goals at the weekend against UCR. Just an unbelievable finish. 25 yards out. But when they get in that offensive third, someone's going to have to take control of this match, create something just a little bit special. And if it's anything, it's this man, Santino Caranta, and it's going to be Fred, the second half substitute. Goes back to Birch. That was on frame, and it was Navas with his first big save of the day. Eating space in front of the goal. Right to Navas. He spilt it for a moment. He had to bend. Problems in the back, especially with Cordero, Robinson, and Nunez tucking in so much. Drummond's been pushing up that right flank, just looking to get one more. Kamalo! He has been one of the brighter spots. Another important save from Navas, who's now made multiple stops here in the last 10 minutes. Here's Birch. This is where he wants to be. Gets it into Sims, and another good save from Navas. And you got to take your hat off to DC. They're thrusting with numbers forward. Maybe just for pride at this late stage. Birch! Again, Navas kind of went to him, but Birch hit it very well. Start that I think a lot of people foresaw 
with his DC United team with just a horrific run of injuries and issues leading into the game. And they take two goals at home.